following items are sold nowhere and batteries aren't included. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fake commercials in movies and TV. Hi there. Are you a large person? Pleasantly plump? A little on the hefty side, perhaps? Well, let's face it. Are you fat? For this list, we're taking a look at parody commercials from movies and TV shows that make fun of real ads, products, services, or consumerism in general. Mr. Spacolo! Uno yo besto! Watch! Boring! We've excluded commercials from sketch comedy shows like Saturday Night Live because they deserve a list of their own. Samuel Jackson! It's my beer! Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell! Number 10. The Unified Fund, Kingpin. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, Mr. McCracken's already there. <laughs> Professional athletes have a way of scoring beautiful women. Since bowling technically isn't a real sport, however, Ernie McCracken needs to get creative in order to score his babes. Hi. Hello. Not you. This sleazy bowler exploits his fame to get involved with the Unified Fund to sponsor several fatherless families. I'm Ernie McCracken. When I found out little Billy here was growing up without a daddy, I had to do something. When Big Ern saw our picture in the paper, he called the Unified Fund and got involved. I had to. Of course, Big Ern has no interest whatsoever in the kids. It's the MILFs he really wants to tuck in at night. Jonathan, we're going to fly pattern all the way to the goal line. Bill Murray kills it in this scene from Kingpin as a grade A scumbag who hides his perverted tendencies behind good old fashioned family wholesomeness. It's a tough world. These kids nearly got munsoned, but they're back now. Number nine, wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man, Family Guy. Thanks to a shipping error, I am now currently overstocked on wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men, and I am passing the savings on to you! Unless you're Seth MacFarlane, you probably can't say a tongue twister like wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man three times in a row. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man, wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man, wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. One wouldn't think that these tube men would serve much purpose outside of attracting customers, but Al Harrington shows us that they actually possess multiple functions in our everyday lives. African American, hail a cab, testify in church, or just raise the roof. Like Family Guy's Ball in a Cup, this commercial comes out of nowhere, zooms by in a flash, and leaves you both scratching your head and laughing your ass off. So come on down to Al Harrington's wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man emporium and warehouse, Route 2 in Weekapog! Number 8. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters 2. Hold on, half price? Have we all gone mad? The Ghostbusters initial low budget commercial produced instant comedic gold. We're ready to believe you! However, they took their advertising to new levels of hilarity and cheesiness in Ghostbusters 2. Now that the boys are established heroes, they should be able to afford a commercial with more convincing production values and actors, where somebody actually dials the phone. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! But their follow-up ad manages to be even cheaper, casting Louis Tully and Janine Melnitz as a married couple being tormented by a Halloween decoration. If the triumphantly stilted acting doesn't sell you, the promise of a Ghostbusters thermal mug and free balloons will. You mean the Ghostbusters hot beverage thermal mug and free balloons for the kids? Go, 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 go. Number 7. Magnavolt, Robocop 2. Magnavolt. The final word in auto security. No embarrassing alarm noise, no need to trouble the police. Even if the sequels weren't great, every RoboCop film provided some inspired commentary concerning corporations, consumerism, and public safety. And remember, we care. RoboCop 2 includes one of the franchise's most darkly hysterical bits in the form of the Magnavolt ad. As a thug attempts to commit Grand Theft Auto, he suddenly bolted in and shocked to a crisp. <laughs> A smiling spokesperson then appears out of thin air and endorses this efficient technology, completely ignoring the fact that it's essentially a portable electric chair. We sincerely hope this thing never malfunctions. And it won't even run down your battery. Magnavolt. 
Lethal Response. Number six, Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad. You are under arrest. I'd better call Saul. Saul Goodman can pretty much be summed up as a character through his commercial. And that's why I fight for you, Albuquerque. This tacky lawyer makes it abundantly clear up front that it doesn't matter how guilty you are, he'll represent anyone, sue anyone, and say anything to uphold the constitutional rights of his clients. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do. The obvious green screen effects, fast moving letters at the bottom of the screen, amateur acting, and stock music only add to the commercial's crudity. I had a good job until my boss accused me of stealing. I better call Saul. Saul is such a charismatic presence, however, you actually consider calling him regardless. So if you want to make more money and uh, keep the money that you make, better call Saul. Moisture is the essence of wetness. Number five, Aveda Zoolander. And wetness is the essence of beauty. <laughs> this commercial raises numerous questions. For example, what exactly is this ad selling? How is wetness the essence of beauty? And above all, why is Derek Zoolander a mermaid? Merman. Merman! Oh, sorry, Merman. This commercial might seem too ridiculous to exist in real life. However, it's not far off from the unintentionally hilarious ads beauty companies traditionally put out. Tapping the power of Ayurveda, the ancient healing art of India, to exfoliate your scalp, thicken your hair, and activate with Densiflex. And since Aveda is a real company, we're glad to see they have a sense of humor. Ben Stiller perfectly satirizes the ambiguous, artsy, overly serious nature of such commercials that ultimately leave us asking, what the hell was that? You're the laughing stock of the entire fashion world. Number four, porn for women, 30 Rock. Hello there. Well, hello. Although pornography is often viewed as entertainment solely for men, the truth is sometimes women require mindless relief too. Yes, please. However, a woman's idea of porn doesn't include strip teases or three ways. Let me do a dance for you, my lover. They achieve satisfaction by having a single, handsome man patiently listen to them complain about their day. Do you need to talk? Because I'll just listen patiently and say things like, uh huh. Complete with the clever wit for which 30 Rock is known, this commercial says a lot about men, women, and the human need for escapism. You're a great woman. You deserve a great man for just $24.95 an hour. Whether you're a female or a male, it's still a bigger turn on than Liz Lemon's sex hotline commercial. Hi, I'm Bijou. Bijou! Call me. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Number three, Ichiban lipstick for men, friends. If you had seen what was on this tape, believe me, you would have some comments. Joey Tribbiani is the nicest friend a guy could ask for. Given his less than stellar resume though, his career choice in the field of acting has been questionable. Your leading man is here, let's get to work. Um, slight change of plans, we've shut down. But in this scene, Joey proves to his friends just how talented he truly is. Sending up almost every Japanese commercial in existence, Joey sells the audience a blue lipstick for men. Ichiban. Ichiban, lipstick for men. It takes a special kind of actor to make lipstick seem masculine, but Joey overcomes his gender and sexuality to make Ichiban look like a must-have for all dudes. Ichiban, <laughs> lipstick for men. Saiko. Those young people are about to get a dose of reality. Number two, Mr. Plow, The Simpsons. Mr. Plow, that's my name, that name again is Mr. Plow. Like the Ghostbusters commercials, this fake ad from The Simpsons demonstrates how the cheaper you make something look, the bigger the laugh you'll get. You are fully bonded and licensed by the city, aren't you, Mr. Plow? Shut up, boy. After starting his own plow business, Homer decides to throw together the most inexpensive commercial imaginable. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing! That's what! Eh, eh, eh. Stop! Mr. Plow! Get out, you lousy 
season. All right, I'm going. My head hurts. I have to lie down for a while. With the lovingly poor quality of a home movie, Homer casts family in the roles, uses his house as a shooting location, and scores a night owl time slot. Dad, who's watching TV at 3.17 a.m.? Alcoholics, the unemployable, angry loners. The commercial might be as lazy as Homer, but it does stick with you via the catchiest jingle since the Canyon Arrow. When it goes real slow with the hammer down, it's the country pride truck endorsed by a clown. Canyon Arrow! Yeah! Canyon Arrow! Hey, hey! Before we promote our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. My, where did you get that lovely spatula? Spatula City, we sell spatulas, and that's all. When you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing that you see? Your morning wood. Your morning wood. Well, hello, morning wood. Hey, hey, Jack, now, you get a free demon possession with every exorcism. Ah, you can't beat that, can you? Now bring a little parts down here. Hell, we got plenty of snakes and lizards for them to play with. What's my name? Dunkachino. Dunka, 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 Number one, coming attractions, Tropic Thunder. Before the real movie even begins, Tropic Thunder sums up everything that's wrong with American cinema in a series of coming attractions. You know how Hollywood relentlessly dishes out countless repetitive action sequels, lowbrow fart comedies, and shameless arthouse Oscar porn? Oh, and let's not forget rappers who are always plugging their bootylicious soft drinks. Ben Stiller gets every last detail of these all too familiar trailers right. Who left the fridge open? Tug Speedman. Scorcher 6. From their titles to their soundtracks to their taglines. Some countries. It's considered a compliment. Break it down. Letting loose this summer. It not only acts as great parody, but a tremendously funny method to introduce us to the film's main characters. One man chose to question his god. <laughs> From Fox Searchlight. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite fake commercial? Just look so good. Just let it shine through. For more hilarious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Can I have some? Get your own. Take that, you bitch! No! Oh, what the hell? How'd you like that? Hey, joke's on you, I have hepatitis. <laughs>